Hello my crafty friends, it is Trine here and I am checking in for the Poet Spice Cricut collaboration. If this is your uh, first time watching one of the collaboration videos, it's uh, where a group of us crafters get together and for I think nine weeks we use our Cricut um, or Silhouette machines every week just to get use out of it because sometimes y'all as crafters buy stuff and don't use it <laughs> so the purpose of this is to make sure we are using those machines because baby they're not cheap <laughs> so today I will be making a lollipop um, well like a paper lollipop basically and I saw this idea on the um, the diet is called mini monsters however the stick part of the lollipop for there it was kind of wonky to go along with like the style of that die and I wanted my lollipop to be a little bit more on the glam side so I'm just going to use the circle part and um, you know like the, the lollipop side and then I'm even going to use an actual lollipop stick for my stick and I have used my die cut uh, machine to die cut one a uh, a bow, and I have it cut in some light blue vellum, and I thought that it'd be a nice texture to add. So let me find one of my little spatulas, and I like using this because it helps keep the paper from um, from splitting or from curling up, which I did anyway, but you know we'll fix it <laughs> alright and then we'll just push this off to the side now this project is really really simple <laughs> like honestly and I don't like the way this little um, piece is right here so I'm just gonna take my scissors and alter that curve just a little bit and they had it like that to um, to go with the dye, but I don't really like that. So, what we don't like, we can change. All right, so now I need to attach this to this one. You guys, when I tell you this project is so simple and quick, I shouldn't say that because whenever I say something is simple and quick, I always jinx myself and something crazy happened to make it not simple and quick. And I'm going to pick up my tweezers just because I don't want to burn my fingers. And there we go. So that is a lollipop and think a little bit of my glue dried before I could get it over here and that happens I work with a low temp high glue gun just because um, I always burn myself with the high temp ones <laughs> and to me like paper to using them on paper is never good with the high temps is asking for it ah and now I got a million glue puggers. See, I told y'all, whenever I say something is a simple, easy project, this happens. <laughs> All right, and so our little lollipop is just gonna go right there. But I created a um, um, another one of these, just, you know, on the side um, to sandwich my stick in so you won't see you know, so it'll just be clean. I like my sides and my back to be kind of clean so you don't see all the glue. But that's completely optional. You can always not use as much glue. I use a lot of glue. Because I want it to stay in place. I'm an over gluer. <laughs> I 
I'm not just straight pushing down on it because it's hot. <laughs> oh no. And this front wasn't dry. Yeah, I see what I mean when I say when I jinx myself. And I jinx myself. Yeah. And then I'll come back in. Just clean that up. Not gonna worry about it. Cause I can fix it. We can fix it. We can do it. We can do it. Alright, so now for the bow. Let's work on that. Can't find my bone folder, so I use my backup bone folder. And yes, I do pop these quite often. <laughs> it's kind of on the sad side. Uh -uh, and I did that on the wrong side. I'm going to go back that way. There we go. And I'm not even pushing in on the glue. I'm just using the little drips. <laughs> because this paper is so lightweight, it's not going to take much to hold everything on there. And then this goes on here. I'm trying to figure out if I want my bow to go straight across or do I want it to go down. I kind of like it with that straight across look. And there we go. How cute and simple this is. Now, the next step I am going to do is kind of fancy it up a little bit. So I'm going to take some Wink of Stella and put this on my white part just to give it a little sparkle. Oops, got a little on the bow. That's okay. I am going to come through over that with some glossy accent. And I just have mine in a little container. And I like this because it makes it easier to set the inside of it. I mean, the outlines of it. <laughs> I'm saying one thing and thinking another. And also, this will make it where that little shiny part, it won't really matter. So there we go. And now that I have the border set, I am going to switch over to the full-size full bottle so it doesn't take as long. The cool thing about glossy accents is that as long as it's like fresh, you can kind of move it a little bit. So what I like to do is I lay it on really, really heavy. 
and then I just take another like flat surface and just kind of then wipe it off. Now, is that wasting? Yes, it is. But I kind of like the effect that I get when I do it that way. So now that I have all my glossy accents on here, I am going to let this dry for um, at least 12 hours. So at least overnight before I, I want to do anything with it. So here is our lollipop outfit. It has set up to dry overnight. I really like the shiny texture of it that the glossy accent bring. So that's the project for this week. Be sure to visit some of the ladies linked below in my description box and check out their videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.